Good morning, everyone. Guess what? Today is the day that we get our new family member. to drive this thing right now. Oh, it's so big. Your hitch pin right here hooks into your, your pin box. And here is your seven way plug. Best place to store it when not using it, store it right up in here, along with your uh, breakaway. Uh, under here, you got a deep cycle battery under this cover. Uh, with the battery, I all my routine maintenance, I use what I call the six month rule. Take this cover off, take the caps off the battery. If you need to add fluid, add distilled water to it. Okay. Got your water pump switch right here. You can turn it on here or inside as well. You know, only use your water pump switch when you're pulling water from your fresh water tank. Never when you're hooked up to city water. Okay. Because you're already getting water pressure coming through the city water. So if you're boondocking or something Correct. like that, use it. This little switch right here turns off these little blue LED lights underneath this slide. You have an outdoor shower with the spray nozzle on it. Has hot and cold. Very important with this, when you're finished using this, make sure you turn these off. Because if you leave them on and go inside to shower or wash dishes or what have you, you're only gonna get lukewarm water because this is your lowest point is feeding this first. Um, right here, your cable hookup is this coaxial connection in the middle. The other ones, and also right here, are for outside TV. So if you could use satellite, you're gonna need a splitter to go whatever, which television you want it to go to. One, two 110 plugs right here on the side. Outside TV. Possible. Uh, mm -hmm. Your city water connection, your black tank flush. I'll get to this in just a minute. Now these levers right here, the diagram here, this is where I was talking about grand design, making everything user friendly. So if you want to fill your fresh water tank, you can hook your hose up to this and move these levers into that position and when you put your hose in there it automatically fills your fresh water tank once it's filled up maneuver them up to dry camping position and turn your water pump on if you could use the water at the campground you know hooked up at the spigot with city water maneuver them to the city water position and then you got water coming through and then same thing winterize and sanitize so that when you winterize it automatically bypasses your hot water heater you don't have to look for a bypass switch anywhere you can do it all right here yeah over here is your leveling system on this wire this the switch position. <laughs> so turn it on right here See, it comes on it just when it's blinking like, like that, let you know how far you're off, whether side to side or front to rear. You've got a menu button right here, shows your battery voltage, how far you're off kilter, rear to front, side to side, tilt angle, and then the next one that comes up, it says auto retract rear, enter to begin. So that's to bring up your rear jacks, but they're already up, I haven't put them down. Okay. So once you're all down, you can hit that, it brings up your rear jacks. Hit it again, it says to retract all. Never push that button unless you're hooked up to your truck. Because <laughs> if you got them all down and go, ground. okay, yeah, retract them all, let's do that. Your your unit's just gonna take a nose dive and I don't wanna be around when that happens. So, and, and then you can go to manual mode whether you wanna put them down, up. But the best thing to do, get to the regular screen so as it comes on it says ready hit auto level all right now you want to put your jacks down prior to putting your slides out 
but we're in a good spot so for demonstration purposes i can do it here because the slides are out all right so all you gotta do is just push auto level and it'll do it itself Uh, you got one of your, you got a little LED light here, the push button LED light so you can see it at night. This is one of your sewer hookups. You have one towards the back right here. Right here, open that, sewer hose storage. So with that being said, you're hooked up to, at the campground, it's time to leave, you got to dump. The levers are in here. You got two grays and a black. So what you want to do first, you want to pull your black first because that's going to empty everything out of your toilet. I suggest with your sewer hose to have a clear end on it so you can see when it's finished running. Once that's finished running, close this, then you can hold up either one or both at the same time. Your grays, that's all your sink and shower water. And that helps rinse out that sewer hose for all the, the gunk that was in it. Okay. Once that's finished, finished doing everything, you want to have two separate hoses for your city water and your black tank because you want to avoid that cross contamination. So we've got this way. Get your get a separate hose. Hook it hook it up to this. Open up your black tank. Open up this lever right here. Turn your water on. What that's going to do? Anything that then getting dumped out by gravity when you initially opened it, underneath the toilet acts like a little sprinkler system. So it's going to spray anything that may have gotten stuck and help give you a better clean. Let that run for maybe 10, maybe 15 minutes. Let that run and then keep the, it's very important to have the black lever open. Once that's finished running, leave it open and turn your water hose off, put the hose away because you'll still have a little bit of residual water coming out. By the time you put your hose away, it should be finished. Take the hose off, put it away, boom, you're good to go. You got another uh, connection down here. This is for the uh, rear bathroom. And you have a black handle right here to empty that one. And this is your black tank flush. Yeah, your handle is actually right oh, here. Oh, it's right up in there. Yeah, it's just, it's just labeled, labeled right here. So you know. And this is your black tank flush for that one. So you could just use one hose or do this one, unhook it, bring it down there, hook it up to this one. Got, and okay. dump it. So if you, that, way, that way, if you want to get two hoses, but you have to get a Y connection, probably just easy just do that one and then come do this one. Two flushes. Um, with your with your slides, well actually I forgot this, right here, these are the service panels for your refrigerator and your freezer. So if they ever have to do any work on those particular unit, they can just pop these covers off and work on it. I do suggest as well screens on this because they got little holes up in here. Let's see what kind of these are. Put screen, screens on both of those because the bees can get in there and build the wasps. You don't want that happening. With your, yeah, with your slides on maintenance, once again with the six month rule on uh, routine maintenance. On these rubber seals right here, we use what we call a silicone spray. Just get a clean cloth, spray it, and just wipe it down the rubber. It keeps the rubber moist, keeps it from drying and cracking. And then underneath, along those tracks right there, you want to use a dry lube spray. Just spray it directly on those tracks and it keeps those tracks working. Don't use anything like a WD-40 or something like that. Okay. It can gunk up with dirt and dust and hinder those tracks from operating properly. Gotcha. Uh, you have a USB and a 12 volt plug right here, along with a 110. This refrigerator operates strictly on 110. The refrigerator's gonna come on. And you got your little thermostat up here to control the coldness of it. Uh, your grill here, this propane uh, secures underneath under here by these little clips and then your gas port is right here so you can just pull this out and secure that and operate to get and that operates off your propane uh, as far as safety whenever you're away from your unit at night when you go to bed or if you hear the wind starting to pick up bring it in nice friction hinge door so if somebody does this you don't have to worry about it flinging all the way back and hitting the back of the unit it also has a nice little hook right here to keep it secure your screen release right here close your screen you have a little access panel so you want to keep the screen in your barbecue you need another barbecue sauce or another beer boom and still keep the bugs out this red lever right here is your deadbolt lightweight aluminum steps is one two that's it 
they have a little, it's a little blue light under here. They call that the porch light. So it's a nice little step light so you can see, keep it on at night. You know, when it, you're ready to go, make sure your grab handle is up and against the door. The side of your pass through storage, you have a 110 plug right here of access to bring lines up through here. All your storage door and compartment doors are held up by nice strong magnets. So you don't have to worry about them coming down and hitting you with those little cheap plastic clips. Yeah. Your other 30 gallon propane tank. All right. Tell my customers prior to going in, welcome home. <laughs> Extinguisher right here by the door behind this cabinet. This is your control panel. You can do everything. So, this convenience center, you can check your battery, nicely stored, your fresh water, check both your blacks and both your grays, the level on them. This is your this awning switch is for this awning right here. Oh, I'll get you to bring that in your slides in once we're done. Okay. Your ceiling light. Oh, these main ceiling lights that always stays blue so you can know so you can see when you come in um you got tank heaters i can't so if you're camping in the winter time turn your tank heaters on your water won't freeze in the gray or the black okay. water pump switch turn it on here that lights on let you know the water pump is on awning light step light is this little light right here so at night time you can keep that on in case you get up in the middle of the night and you need to get and then your porch light is that little light that was underneath the steps right there. All right. And then all your slides right here. Behind here is your fuse breaker box. Everything's nicely labeled as far as your 110s and your 12 volt here. With these fuses here, Grand Design does something very neat. If one of these fuses does blow, a little red light will come on right beside it and let you know exactly what fuse it is. So you don't have to go all out of pecking and searching. Dinette, you got a switch right here, light switch over the dinette, and this is the switch to control for that awning right here to bring that one in. Um, the table, you pull these cushions up, take the poles out, the table just rests on is these. Is there lift. storage under those benches? Yes. So, yeah, you can see the little hole, just lift that up so you can store under there as well. Sweet. Light over the recliner is a manual light. Tell you what, go and have a seat in these recliners. <laughs> Come on. I'll give you a test run on these. Uh, so the handle right here by your leg. Pull this handle, pull that up. The light, light in here, and the LED light on the bottom as well. A nice massage. Three stages of the massage feature. This isn't even camping anymore. I know, man. Like I said, Grand Design looks out for their customers, man. Yeah. And this and this lifts up for storage, so that's the best that's the best place to keep your remotes. Man, you almost want a rainy day when you go camping. Oh no doubt. Yeah. I tell you, I went in the wintertime, these heated seats are awesome. Yeah. Light switch, this turns your, your exhaust fan on. Oh, you just gotta open it up here and you can turn it on right here. Um they have the ability to put a TV in here if you want to. It's got a backer, it's got the hook up right there. This is gonna, this is gonna be the kids' room, so I'm sure they'll want a TV. Yeah, here. for the video games. Yeah. Um, I, this is one of your emergency exits right here. It's kind of hard to see how it operates behind it, but you have one in your room. I'll show you. It operates the same way. The little manual light here. It's best to keep this down when traveling because you don't want it up and going down the road. It's bouncing. It can slam down. Is that screen um, spread out a little bit, or is that? Yeah, I can get, I'll get up in and reach it and poke it out. Um, and then this comes out to a little sofa bed as well. I just lift, pull, feet down, and then just fold this down, put the cushions back, boom. There you go, there's your bed. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on in here. Radio is an AM, FM, CD, DVD player, and is also Bluetooth compatible. All right. So you have two zones: zone one, zone two. Zone one is your indoor speakers. 
and them off. Zone two is your outdoor speakers. You can do them individually or you can do them together. It's up to you. This top button right here is your power button. Turns it on. Your dimmer switch is right underneath the power button. What you can do is control the brightness of the flame. So you can use this as secondary heat or you can just use it for ambiance. So your pantry has the same type motion sensor light in it so it will come on when you open there. You have a 110 plug on this side of the island. GFI plug right here so if the kids have something plugged in or your um, here is your uh, propane detector. Oh, okay. To light your stove, come on over here. Very easy. Hold this down, push it down to where the flame button is. Just push your igniter. To light the stove, just turn this, go here, clicking. Then when you hit it, it stops clicking, the pilot should be on. So we, we just come down here and see the pilot. Oh, it didn't light, so. See it? See it's lit? Yeah. You want to hold it in for a few seconds for it to catch. Once it catches, let it go, and then turn it, and there's your burner. And this is the timer right here beside it. Full stainless steel sink. That's the water coming through the fresh water tank on the water pump. Okay. So you see you got good pressure coming in. Um, your refrigerator, this runs off electric and gas, either one. So your temperature set, this actually sets the temperature of the freezer with nine being the coldest. So you see it's nice and cold in there, four complimentary ice trays. Double refrigerator. Um, your mode button, this is how, so right now if you hit mode, you see it's on AU, which is the automatic mode. So it's going to automatically pick up your shore power when you're plugged in. All right. And then as soon as you unplug, as long as your propane's on, it will automatically switch and operate off the propane. Okay. Or if you want, you can just hit it and do strictly AC or strictly propane. But best thing to do is just keep it on automatic. Auto, let it flip. This is your on off button. Just hold that down to turn it on or off. Now with this, USBs tucked up in here so you can set your cell phones up here and charge them up. Oh. Yeah. Plug, plug right here. Button. Plug right on each side of the light. You got two light switches. This one controls that one and then your pendant lights over the sink. Underneath this, this controls that exhaust fan right there. So come on over here. So and that's the rain sensor, right? I believe it is. Does it have the umbrella on it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a rain sensor. So if in the mornings, if there's a lot of dew, it won't open because it's sensing the, the moisture on it. Now, with your with your toilet, I couldn't show you because it was kind of tight fit. You want to keep water in the basin at all times because you want to keep that rubber seal moist. You don't want it to dry. To operate it, just put pedal down, put some water in it. When you use the facility, hold it down, and just add a little bit more water to it. Oh, so it doesn't open unless you push it all the way. Correct. Awesome. Make sure all your doors and all the stuff like this is closed when traveling. Light switch here. Your shower door. Your shower has your shower door when traveling. Close it and make sure that's on. But you got the same deodorizer and toilet paper ring here. Let you decide where you want to go. Motion sensor light right here. This is good. And it, at night you got to get up good. It'll automatically come on as soon as your senses it. You're there. You got some AC in here. No doubt. Light switch here. This is the same emergency window that you have in the bunkhouse. When you ever need to use it, God forbid you don't. This tab, pull the screen out. Both of these lights have push buttons. Turn these on, and these are manual lights as well. Have one tens on both sides of the headboard. Two USBs right up top up here. You do have storage under the bed as well. I tell customers, great hiding place for Christmas gifts. <laughs> Kids never think of coming here looking under the bed. <laughs> Out of that yeah, really. <laughs> if you could just leave your first and second born behind, they'll be fine. There you go. Thank you, man. Good. All right. So there you have it. A new addition to the family is a 2020 Grand Design Reflection 311 BHS.